Hello, everyone. I am Amanda. I am a Ditto educator. And today I am going to share with you some in-depth information about our pattern library and the modal mobile app that goes with the Ditto system. Um, this is live. So if I have any issues, uh, please hang tight. If you have any technical issues or you can't watch the whole thing, you can always come back and watch it again. Uh, we encourage you to ask questions and put comments as we're going. I love to hear what you're thinking and anything that comes to mind, just throw it in the chat and I'll try to answer it or have someone else answer it. Uh, an important thing, if you are considering buying a Ditto right now, we are having a special promotion where you get a $100 shopping spree if you buy a Ditto this week. So this promotion ends on the 29th. It's on singer.com. You add a Ditto to your cart and at least $100 worth of products and you use the promo code uh, and you get $100 off. So this is the absolute perfect time to buy a Ditto. And uh, if you're on the fence, I'm about to tell you why it's awesome and how cool the pattern library is. So ask questions as we go and let's get started. So I'm going to change my screen to my uh, iPad so you can see what we're doing here. Um, so this is dittopatterns.com. This is where you're going to find all of the patterns available to you, as well as tutorials and things like that. Uh, we currently have over 600 women's patterns alone. And then I believe there's over 800 patterns if you include the men's and the kids and the crafts. So there are a ton of patterns available on dittopatterns.com. Um, and you can get them in various ways. So first I wanna show you, here we go. I'm gonna click on women's. So as you can see, we have some third-party brands as well as Ditto brands of patterns and they are all listed here. And this is just the women's. And uh, with the third pattern, pattern uh, third-party, excuse me, third-party patterns, those are a separate cost. So you can see there's costs underneath each pattern. But if you're interested in our subscription, we have two options. It's $9.99 for a month or $99.99 for the year, which is a super awesome deal because as you can see, these patterns range in cost. Um, and that's not a lot of spend if you make just even one item a month. Uh, so it's a super great deal. And today I'm going to focus on our ditto patterns because those are the ones that are customizable to your size. So any of our third-party um, patterns, they aren't customizable to size. You get all the sizes that the brand has, but you can't enter your own measurements. So today I wanna focus on the Ditto patterns and how amazing and customizable they are. So right now I am in the women's pattern section, which as you can see, we have over 400 Ditto patterns. And a few of them will say customizable. So what that means is that they are customizable, not only by size, but style. So you can see here, this particular shirt, I can pick various necklines, I can pick sleeves. Uh, it's really cool and that you can like change all this stuff. And you can see here, there is an illustration of the shirt. And as I change, what we can do with it, the picture changes. So I know exactly how I'm designing my garment before I send it to my ditto. And as you can see, not all the options are available just yet, but you can play around with how many things you can do. This is really cool. Yeah, so once I like a shirt, I'm gonna get to the measurements in a moment, but I wanna show you some other options down here that comes with every single pattern. So as you slide down here, you see that there is the option to subscribe or purchase. So depending on what you sign up for, um, that you will click that before you add it to your library. And then below there, there's some tabs here. So details are going to tell you uh, what kind of fabric is used for this garment. So this is a woven fabric. It'll also tell you the fit, like how loose it is, if it has darts, sleeves, things like that. In description, I think this is really cute. It kind of gives you a hint on like how to wear it. So this says casual date night or next office outfit, which I totally agree with the shirt. It's adorable. Um, and then fabric and notions. So here we have a light to medium weight woven fabric and it'll tell you if you need a zipper or anything like that. We are getting questions. 
Um, are patterns okay for be beginners? Oh my gosh, yes, pattern. A lot of these patterns are great for beginners. I'm actually gonna show you what some of the instructions look like and they are so easy. I love the way that the ditto pattern um, instructions are laid out. They're super simple um, and they're all very similar. So once you learn you know, a technique like putting in a side zipper, a lot of them have side zippers. So there you go. You can like transfer that to the next garment you make. Uh, same with like, there's a lot of simple knits in our last sew along. We did like a little knit shirt and it was really easy to follow along. So yes, a lot of our patterns are for be beginners. I would say even this shirt is a great beginner shirt. Um, so yeah. Oh, another question. Uh, what's the name of the app? So the app is, um, is the Ditto app, but right now we are we are still in the website. So we are in dittopatterns.com. And that's what you need to keep in mind is the website is where you do all your shopping, adding things to your pattern library, and most importantly, customization. The app is how we get it projected to our table. So right now I'm focusing on the website. I'm at dittopatterns.com. And here you can also shop for a ditto if you're on the fence. You can buy one. Uh, you can also buy one on singer.com with that promo code. Um, so here I wanted to get back to this fabric and notions. This tells you what fabric you need as well as what notions you need. And another really cute feature is that if uh, you say you really love this top and you're like, I want to make that one exactly. The website even tells you if it's available at Joanne Fabrics. So right now this fabric is available. There's a link there. I can click that and find out uh, where to buy that fabric if it's local to my Joann's or I want to ship it. So that's really cool. It also tells you yardage by width of fabric. So um, you can kind of figure this out. You can also take this with you. So whether it you have the app on your phone or you're just pulling up the website on your phone, all this information is available to you at all times. So that takes the confusion out of shopping or trying to remember like, oh, I got to write down how much interfacing I need. It's all there for you all the time. Um, so one more question. Uh, will there be ditto patterns that you can mix and match, for example, between different patterns, sleeves from one, necklines from another? Um, so yes and no. Currently, there's no easy way to do that. But I know a lot of our community uh, on the ditto thread, which um, if you haven't checked out, we have a page called the Ditto Thread where our community members, you know, share projects they've doing, they're doing things they're having issues with, things they love. Um, it's a really great some supportive community, and a few of people have shown ways that they've used a sleeve from this dress and a neckline from this dress. So yes, I feel like you can do that. Um, but again, look at how customizable this shirt is alone. Like there's four different necklines. There's a bunch of different sleeves. Um, and when I go back to all of our patterns, ditto, here we go. Um, you can see like a good amount are customizable with that yellow. And even if it doesn't have a customizable sticker on there, the size is still customizable. So I want to show you that next. I'm going to go into patterns, women's, just to keep my focus. And look how easy it is to like sort through all this stuff. You can also sort by name. Um, so it's really helpful. You can also search a dress like or a garment. Like say you had something saved, you can put it in the search and it'll pop right up. So super easy to navigate the website. I'm going to click back on this top here. So... A few more questions. How many patterns are able to be customized? I don't know the exact number of how many are able to be customized by neck and sleeve, but all, all Ditto brand patterns are customizable by size. Um, so we will go through that now. So to customize this shirt, what I'm going to do is I need to pick a base size, which don't be scared. I just said that we're going to uh, set these to our own measurements, but you do need to pick a base size. And there is this handy size chart here. So you can pick something just generally close to what you need. And this is where I can now adjust any of this if I want to switch what style I'm going to do. And I can put in a name. 
Great. And then I hit add to library. Great. And this one I actually already have in my pattern library. So let's go check it out. Um, but you can add different patterns of different styles. So I wanted to show you this real quick. Um, we're still in the website. But you can see down here, I have this Beatrice dress three times. And that's because I picked different sizes and sleeve lengths for each of these dresses, which is a really great feature if you're doing, say, like bridesmaids dresses or a wedding. You can have different styles for each of the bridesmaids and different sizes. So it's really like amazing how much stuff you can have in your pattern library and how different each thing can be. Um, okay, so this, this is the whole website. And now I want to show you how to customize this top to your measurements. So I have edit fit. Let's let's add a different one here for a second, just so I can show you this. All right. Say this Abby dress here. I'm going to add my size. I can change the hem of this one because this one's also customizable. I'm going to add this one to my pattern library as well and I can go to my pattern library. And now you can see this Abby dress is here. When I click this, it gives me the option to customize the size. So I click to customize the size. I click size customization. And this is what is really, I think to me, one of the most exciting parts about Ditto is the fact that you get a garment designed to the measurements you enter every single time, which is so cool. So there are 17 points of measurements currently. You can see them all here. And uh, you can, if you have issues with, you're not really sure what needs to be measured, there's these handy, handy little question marks next to each point of measurement. So it tells you exactly what to measure at any given time. We also have some really great tutorials on our website and YouTube that show you exactly how to take proper measurements so you get the perfect fit. Because uh, you really want to make sure these measurements are awesome and then your garments turn out perfectly fitting. So there are 17 points of measurements you can put in here, but you can also save measurement profiles. So instead of entering every single one of these um, at once for each garment, I can go into my saved measurement profiles and I can click one and it automatically fills in those measurements. So I'm going to hit save. And now you can see that custom fit says Amanda. So that is based on um, my measurements that I had put in a profile. And I can always go back and edit this fit. You can see that little button there says edit fit. Um, it also tells you when it was last modified. So if you make some adjustments to your measurements down the line, that's fine. Um, it'll tell you all of that. And this is just in the pattern library on the website. So how do you make one of those custom measurement profiles? I'm going to go into my account here. I'm going to hit measurement profiles. And you can see I already have three profiles, one of which is my name, which is the one I just entered. But to create a new one, I'm going to hit create new, give it a name, pick a base size again. That's just to start. And now I'm back to that same exact measurement form I had before where I can enter in all the measurements and I can hit save. Now I didn't enter them all in, so it's not gonna let me save. Uh, but as you can see, I have these three and I can delete them, I can alter them. Another really cool thing with these measurement profiles is that you can have um, a, a ton, you could have 10 just for yourself, say, you know, after Christmas, your weight fluctuates a little bit. Um, you can have a different profile for that. You could have pro profiles for your growing kids. You can have profiles for your daughter, for your, uh, you know, sister, husband. So you can have all these different profiles in there and you can update them as you need to. Um, so let's go back to my pattern library. I'm going to go back to this top here. And it is customized, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you wanted to um, download the pattern instructions as a PDF, you can click there, which I'm getting a little circle of craziness. So give me 
one second to see if that goes through. I'm gonna check some questions. We got a question, is the cost of patterns included in the subscription? How many can you download each month? If you have a subscription, you can download as many of the Ditto patterns as you want. It's unlimited. That subscription covers all the Ditto patterns, all the size customization, all the customization of necklines, whatever you need to do with that subscription, you've got it all. It's just those third party patterns that need to be bought individually when you have a subscription. But when you have it, all those Ditto patterns are included. Okay, so you can see here is the PDF and you see it's really simple and easy. So if you're someone who likes to have your instructions printed out, they're right here, which is really great. But I'm gonna show you them in the app as well. Okay, so that is, um, this, this shirt is now customized to me. It's in my pattern library. So I'm going to really quickly show you it in the app. So let's move on to the app. So remember, you purchase all your patterns and customize them on the website, and then we move to the app. I'm gonna check for questions. Um, great. So uh, here's the app. As you can see, it's super simple and easy to navigate. We have just a few tiles here, so you can shop Joann Fabrics. You can shop dittopatterns.com. That will take you right back to where we just were. Tutorials is going to show you all these fantastic videos on setup, connectivity, calibration, all those important things. It's right here handy in the app. And then of course, last but not least is my patterns. And this is the same pattern library that you saw on the website. Now it's an app version. And this app is available for iOS devices and Android. So I'm currently showing it to you on my iPad, but you can have it on your phone as well. I have it on my phone. And when I go shopping, I can just like check my pattern library and remember all the things I wanted to make and make sure I buy all the right fabrics. Um, so it's really handy to like have your entire uh, library in your pocket. Like you see a fabric that you love and... Um, you're like, oh, actually I wanna make something with that. And you can go through your pattern library and pick out like, oh, I've been saving this dress for a while. So that's like a really handy thing that it's with you all the time. All right, so this is the page that comes up when you are in your workspace from here. And something I forgot to mention that I wanted to share with you, another cool feature about this pattern library is you can create folders for your garments. So say you wanna have a folder for a specific person or a specific event, it's really nice to even customize the organization of your pattern library. I know a lot of us, like you make a ton of patterns and they're all stored in all kinds of ways and sometimes it's such a hassle to find them. So this is a really great way to keep all your patterns organized. There's a search button, you can filter them, you can make folders, it's great. Okay, so when you click on a um, pattern, this is what pops up. And there's three little tabs here. You can confirm that this one says size and Amanda, which is in the upper right there. So I know that this has been customized to my size. It even gives me the date of when it was last edited. In. And then I can see, again, this yardage and notions pops up. My instructions I can get to at any point all right here. And for the person who asked, are these things for beginners? You can see here, these instructions are really well laid out with diagrams and illustrations to make it really easy um, to follow along. All right, and now I'm gonna click on my workspace because this is where the fun happens. Once you have your pattern, I mean, I think customizing the pattern is really fun, but once you have it customized and you're ready to cut, this is the screen you're going to be really excited about. This is the workspace. Um, someone is asking to show, oh, I see. Someone's asking about pants. We might get to pants soon. Um, I do want to show some splicing, so I'll show a pair of pants uh, if we get to that. So this is the workspace, and I want to talk through just what you're seeing on my screen. Um, in the upper left-hand side here, you can see the name of the top. 
Underneath, if you hit tutorials, that takes you right back to those tiles of tutorial pages. Um, so if you're having any issues or you want a how-to video, you can stay in the app. You don't have to search YouTube or anything. It's all right there, even though our tutorials are on YouTube. Uh, the sewing instructions, again, are on this page. So you can stay on this workspace page as you're building your whole garment and use it as reference the entire time. In the center here, you see these little tabs. There's garment, lining, interfacing, and other. That's ditto keeping track of what you need to cut from each piece. So garment's going to be your fashion fabric, interfacing, and it'll take a second. There we go. So those are my interfacing pieces that I'll have to cut for this top, which is really great that it's super organized for me. Another feature I love about this is there's these little check marks as you cut so you can keep track of everything. You don't have to like remember, oh, did I cut this or not? It's all right there. So I'm going back to my garment page here. Perfect. Great. And then another thing I wanted to show you is this reference layout. Um, so depending on the width of your fabric, it'll give you suggestions on how to lay your fabric out that you can follow along to get best use of your fabric. I find too though with using Ditto because it's projected, I have more control about how to lay my pieces out because I can see everything as I'm working. Um, so this is here for reference. And I'm gonna go back to pattern pieces, great. Okay, so now, before we uh, coming in here, before I show you the actual projection, I just wanted to show, talk slightly about what you get when you buy your Ditto. Um, so Ditto is $799, um, but you get a ton of stuff. So it comes with this suspension pole uh, that's easily to, it's easy to take up and take down. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't have a dedicated sewing space, this is absolutely such a game changer because this just snaps into place. It's not mounted to my ceiling or my wall. I can move it around. I can take it apart and take it somewhere else. Uh, I even took it to my mom's house once and it was really easy to travel with and get back set up in her space. So it's really great that this does not mount anywhere and it's so flexible depending on where you sew, whether it's the dining room table or your own sewing space. Uh, so it has this tension pole with this nice handy level on it. So as you're getting it set up, you know that your projector is gonna be perfectly level to your space. The projector is up there and it can slide up and down. So you get a really good um, set of like where the light needs to go on your table. So you can adjust that easily by sliding that. And you get this really handy mat, which this mat is used for calibration. You can also cut on it, but if you prefer to use your own self-healing mat, you can just switch it out after calibration. Um, but this mat is really great and it folds up easily too, again, for moving it around and storing. You also get these awesome pattern weights. These are like really heavy, heavy duty weights. I absolutely love them. And I'm going to show you how you use them shortly as well as a rotary cutter. So that's what comes with the system and splicing scissors or excuse me, stickers, which we haven't gotten yet, but I or haven't gotten to yet, but I will get to them. Um, so yeah, lots comes in the system and then you have access to all these apps or all these patterns and the app. So now that this is all set up, I'm going to switch to the workspace to show you how you get these projected onto your table. Okay. So to get items, I already have the Ditto turned on, as you can see. Um, and there is an option to calibrate it. If you are someone who already has it permanently in your space, you don't have to calibrate every single time. You can just turn it on and get connected and start working. So I'm already connected, already calibrated. I can start sending stuff to the system. So to do that, I'm just gonna hold a piece with my finger and I can pull it and drop it onto the workspace. Once it's on this workspace, I can easily move it. When it's red, that means it's selected. I can also just tap 
elsewhere. Oh, I think because this is the only one, I'm not going to be able to select it, but it's going to stay selected here. There we go, deselected. So then that stays in place. And I just tap it again to be able to move it. All right, so that's my back piece. I can also bring in this facing here. And see here, the grain line is different and I want to turn it. So what I can do is use two fingers, select it, hold my two fingers down, and I can easily move pieces as I want to. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to send to my projector. Here we go. And let me turn the lights off because that is important so you can see what we're working with here. All right, so you can see it pretty well on this mat, but it's gonna look even better when we put the fabric down. All right, so now you can see that's how this looks on fabric. And I don't have all my lights out, like I can still see everything, but this is really great, really bright on here. I can see everything I wanna do. Once I'm happy with placement, I can just use these weights around or on the piece I want to cut just to keep my fabric smooth as I work. And I'm gonna use the rotary cutter that came with my system and I can just start cutting my pattern pieces. And it's that easy here to, oop, there we go, to get those facing pieces out like super quick. Um, also, something that's really great as I was cutting, as I would be cutting this piece, I can easily see my notches. So I know where to mark things, where to mark my darts. It's all there as I go. I don't forget to mark things because it's right there as I'm cutting. If I want to change pieces, let me bring this here and bring my, my screen back up. To switch pieces, what I'm going to do is first, I'm just going to mark these off and it's going to ask you, did you cut two? We're going to say yes for today. Perfect. So I love that I can keep track of what I've already cut. I'm going to select all and I'm going to clear the space. And now I might bring in a sleeve. And again, I want to show you that rotating. So it's hard to see my screen this way, but I just hold my fingers to rotate that just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna send that. And you can see there's my sleeve. So it just popped right up there and now I can shift my fabric around to get the sleeve where I want it to go. Just like that, awesome. And now I could cut that out. So that is, how easy it is to use the um, workspace to cut things out. But I wanted to show you what you do if you um, have, say, a pair of pants or a skirt or something that is bigger than your cutting space. So let's exit here. And we'll pick a pattern with a longer piece here. So I have this pair of pants that I saved. All right. Okay, so it's gonna ask if splicing is required. Okay, click okay. All right, so whenever an item needs to be spliced, you'll notice it in, um, in that little window on the left there, it had some red arrows on it. For this one, once I bring it into the space, I can't bring anything else up. It wants you to focus on this piece. And you'll see towards the right side of the workspace, there's a little arrow. Um, 
as well as these little red dots. So I'm gonna send that to my projector. All right, so here's my pair of pants. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little stickers that were sent and there's two colors. So say you're doing a red garment, you don't want red stickers, you have the option of using the white ones. So I'm going to put stickers on these little circles that are in place here. Okay, great. All right, and then I can cut this out. And I'm gonna stop right at that line there for now. And that's another thing, like right here, I could easily see that I cut a little bit off from my pattern. So that's what's amazing about doing this is I can get even more accurate cuts because I can see everything at once. I noticed that that was a little off. Cut that right there, great. And see how my piece shifted and I know I can just easily put it back into place. So that's really cool if you forget to put a marking or you forget to mark that this is the pants back, you can lay it back in place and be like, okay, I, I got it back in place. I know where to put my dart and everything. So before I move this would be a really great time for me to mark my dart here. And you can mark things as you go, or I might transfer this over once I take it off the space. But right now I wanna show you this splicing. Okay, so my red dots are all marked into place. I'm gonna bring back up my screen. And all I'm gonna do is click this red arrow and it moved my piece in this place. So now I am going to show you what happens when I hit send to projector. Hmm. Being a little slow, but we'll get there. There we go. Okay. So it just shifted my pattern a little bit. And all I'm going to do now is just slide this, slide this in a way that my stickers line up. Get that fabric out of the way. So I'm just lining up all my stickers. Now you can see all these lines match up and I can just keep on cutting my piece now. It's that easy to cut a bigger piece. You don't need to have a giant space. You just shift as you go. And that's that. So now I have this whole piece of pant cut and ready to go, I can move on to the next piece. All right, I'm just checking if we have any questions. Give me one moment to turn my lights back on. You can see even with the lights, you can see this pretty well. Okay, we had a question about customizing pants. So let me show you that on here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to here. Let's find a pair of pants that we like. 
Uh, these, let's just click on these Chelsea pants. They are customizable. So let's check these out. So it's very similar to um, customizing uh, the shirt we just did. There are options. So this one, you could even make it into a short, which is pretty cool. There you go, shorts, um, different styles, capris. Awesome. So I'm going to click full length pants. Great. Um, and just like this, we're going to put in my size and add it to my pattern library. Go to my pattern library. And here are those Chelsea pants that I just customized the length. But now I want to customize the size. So here, this takes you right back to that measurement profile where I can adjust these measurements and put them in, or I can use my saved one. So I'll put my saved one in, and this should make me a pair of pants that are pretty close, if not perfect, to my size. Now, if you're someone who wants to do more specific things or you want a looser fit, you could always just adjust your measurement profile to you know, add a little bit of um, to the hips or anything like that. There's also these really great down here is belly protrubance and buttocks. So if you click that, you can click, you know, how much um, your stomach sticks out or, you know, so you can adjust that in there and that will be taken into account. Same with butt. Um, you get to pick how curvy or flat you are or the person you're sewing for is. So you enter all that and you hit save. And there you go. So these pants are now customized to my size. If I go back to my pattern library, they should show up. Here they go. So it does take a moment, just sometimes like a minute for this to download. So we'll give that a second, but that's how you customize those pants. All right. So I am gonna come back to greet you all. <laughs> Hello. Um, we did get another uh, comment. Can you put your own patterns into the app? At the moment, can't put your own patterns into the app. Um, it is a closed ecosystem of the Ditto patterns and the third-party patterns that we have on our website. But we are adding more every single month. Um, and uh, we know that's something that uh, people want to be able to add patterns. So that's something that the, the product developers know about. Um, so I would say stay tuned for information on that. Um, but we know that's something that everyone wants. Uh, yeah. So I want to say thank you all for joining me if there's no other questions. Oh, one more. Um, after adjusting the pattern, is ease also adjusted? Uh, so ease is worked into the pattern automatically. Um, so there is ease accounted for in this pattern. At the moment, there's no way to change that ease, it is adjusted with those measurements as part of that pattern and like what size it should be. Can you adjust bust starts? You can't move the bust starts, but the bust starts do change based on the measurements that you put in. Um, it really is made to your size. Um, so just seeing if there's any more questions. I don't think there is, but remember if you are interested in a ditto, now is the best time to buy one uh, because of that great uh, promo code on singer.com. Um, so to find that and get your $100 shopping spree, you're going to go to singer.com. You're going to see it pops up right on that ditto page. Uh, I believe the code is DT spree. It expires on the 29th. So you only have a few more days to get $100 off like anything you want on spring uh, singer.com. Uh, with the purchase of a ditto. It doesn't go towards the ditto, but you can get all kinds of other stuff with it. Um, so definitely check that out and take advantage because it's such a good deal. Uh, and just so you know, our next ditto live, so if you want to join us again to hear even more information, uh, that is June 6th at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll be joined with a another ditto educator, Karen Mount, and we're gonna share all our favorite features. So if you liked this one, talking about the, you know, the app and the library, you should definitely join us on the 6th after you purchase your ditto because of that great deal. Uh, but you should join us on the 6th and see how we, we talk about setup and just all our favorite things 
from us working with the Ditto for a while now and all the things we want to share with you and how it makes life just so much more fun and efficient while making garments. So definitely join us for that live um, and get your Ditto while you can take advantage of that promo code. So I just want to say thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all this fun technology in the sewing world uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.